What's up everybody, DJ Romali here with a quick tutorial on how to extract any PSX texture off any game. So what I use is EPXE and a program called PVV. I um, gave a link in the description for both of the programs. What you want to do is you want to load your game and I want to load, let's see this scene right here. And you want to get to a part where you got your character or creature or whoever on the screen and you want to just uh, hit save, you know, get get your uh, save on the save state, and open up PVV, and um, I already got this laid out, but I'll explain uh, how I did it here. Um, this right, uh, this red box up here is your output, and what you want to do is, uh, if you left click, you'll move the tool around, and if you right click, you'll scale the tool. Okay, so what I what I know my character is actually up here at the top. I mean, you can you just kind of have to play around with the uh, indexes to know kind of what's what at first. But for this game, I know that my my characters and stuff are up here at the top, or creatures I should say, and they're uh, they're stored in this 8-bit mode. So what I'll do is I'll I'll just go over here and I'll just highlight over the until I get it over the blue, and then scale it. So I'm exactly lined up with, with, with the blue there. And then once I'm exactly lined up, I know that this is my exact size of my texture here. And you can see it down here in the, in the references. Now, uh, this gr this uh, if you click on the green tool up here and you move it around, uh, you see now I got this green bar. And this is for 8-bit, like I was explaining, my texture is an 8-bit. But the characters are actually in with this uh, this four bit mode, and see now it, this is only four bit uh, intervals, these textures. But uh, for the for the creatures, we want to do uh, this eight bit, and uh, these down here on the on the lower section, these are your CLUTs, these are your color lookup tables. These are all the texture, or all the colors to all this scrambled data, I should say, that's on the screen here. So I know that if I if I grab this 8-bit and I move it down, uh, left click on the mouse to move it down till I get to a texture that I see is good. Now I know this is for Parasite Eve, and um, these textures they actually start uh, mapping right here down at the bottom on the first couple ones here. So. I know uh, this is one, and see, it's actually not the full texture. See, this one is actually a little messed up, and you know, they're 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 not all right. The only thing that's right on this is this little 128 by 128 uh, pixel section, this little top square right here. Now, if I go down one, the lower left one, this one now come into view, and now this one. And then finally nothing. <clears throat> Once you get to nothing, that's that's the end of your CLUT lookup. So I know this texture only has three textures, or three CLUTs, I should say. So what you want to do is you want to save it now. Um, I'll save it as uh, Cisco One PNG for this one. You want to save each one now. So you want to go. I uh, you can use uh, the buttons down here they actually um are like hotkeys and uh there's my first one there's my second one let's go to uh, and then finally here's my third one okay now once you have them saved um i use photoshop and i'll uh let's see find the folder here Okay, and you just want to drag this one over. Now, um, I know that these textures are stored in 256 by 256 resolution um, for the game Parasite Eve. So what I did is um, I go to the selection tool and um, I'll select and I actually put on my box up here, I got 128 by 128. Because if you you know divide you know the 512, or 256 by um, by half, you'll get the 128. So 
um, you just want to I just select over uh, a part of the image now if you look right here you'll see the way I cut this is actually not is one pixel off so you want to make sure you get it exactly lined up with the pixels because if not when you go to do the UV mapping it's just gonna make things really difficult you're gonna just be a slight bit off on each one so uh, get it the get it lined up the 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 most accurate you can. You see, I got, I left that little strip, and that's the the little bit of pixels that I actually don't need. So, um, I, I'm gonna create a new one now. I'll create a, a new document, and I know it's 256 by 256. My texture. So, once my texture is right here, I'll just paste paste that, and then it kind of snaps in there and you know that that's exactly where that goes on that texture you do the same thing with uh, this one now let's go over here and cut it and see it cut every, everything out all nice and lined up paste it in this one. Oh, oh I'm sorry hold on that was actually uh, actually that was the right texture this one was the wrong texture because we that was the very first one that we had so uh you want to go back into this now this was the very first one this is one png so you want to go to this uh two png that we saved and we knew that this one was this bottom one down here at the at the bottom so just select over that cut that out Come back into your original, uh, your new document, paste that one, and then it kind of just snaps. Make sure it snaps right into place, because then you'll know that's the exact point that it goes. And then right now, here's for the last one, and this one was a couple pixels off here, so just make sure we get that little section there on the side. Looks like we did, you know, left a little, the little one pixel. That, that's a really crucial step if you want to make sure your uh, your textures come out perfectly. Uh, it'll snap into place. Now, as far as uh, extra pixels, that's that's fine. You can just, you know, hover right over them and then just cut that little tiny pixel out. That ain't gonna matter. But uh, well, there we go. There's our full UV uh, textured uh, UV to. Uh, the texture and then you just save it as a PNG or whatever and then um, then uh, you can use it for when you extract the models and all the UV data will be right so I hope you guys uh, enjoy this tutorial and be sure to check out a couple more ones I'm about to post of uh, I'll maybe do a character in the four bits because those are a little harder but um, I do have I, you, they are possible right here's one that I was able to do you know, um, and I do actually have a, a couple other ones here uh, that I was able to extract. You know, like right here. You know, these are, you know, the color. Actually, this was a creature, but actually, here is the uh, original um, uh, mapping of a. Uh, and she was a color lookup index table. So it was really hard to do that. Um, like I said, for a beginner, you're going to need some kind of knowledge. So I'm going to hopefully get that tutorial out soon. And uh, hope you guys check it out. And be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.